Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo, and I'm going to show um, a printout here. This is from Real-Time Handicapping, which is a new program and uh, a book that I'm coming out with. It's not out yet. Um, on Sunday, November 25th, I put five horses on the free page of my uh, website, which is the page you're on now. Three of the horses won, and the best payoff was Gray Attempt in the ninth race at Churchill Downs, who paid fourteen sixty. This is this horse right here, and you can see here he paid fourteen sixty. And I gave I gave out a horse in the tenth race, the seven, who also won, so the double paid twenty one eighty, cold double. Now, in this video, I show some of the ratings. The rating that I use the most in real real time handicapping for sprint races is this total pace rating. Now, this is not uh, when I, a rating. You may have heard of total pace before. Uh, this is a different type of total pace. It's a, a, my, own, my own creation, really. Um, and you can see that the horse has a 12-point advantage. And this is using the BrisNet single data file. Now, what I wanted to do at real time, and some of you may have, uh, be familiar with um, power form, uh, which is, uh, I mean, power pace, I'm sorry. Uh, the power pace uh, system, which is my the last book and system I came out with, and in that system, I kind of exaggerated the numbers. I created formulas where I gave bonus points to horses um, who exceeded par, for instance. I don't want to go into too much detail because it can get very detailed. But basically, I wanted to look for uh, dy uh, dynamic horses, and I, I wanted to exaggerate the numbers a little bit. And the reason why I called this program real time is because I don't do that. I, I created um, compounded ratings here. I created formulas, but I didn't give bonus points. It's all it's all real numbers, pace figures, speed figures, and things like that. But 